This video focuses on the unique partial face recognition capabilities of the Face Forensic System. The associated video on full face recognition explains the layout and functionality of the overall system and how to connect to existing databases. Up to now, all facial recognition systems have treated the face as a homogeneous object. This is fine for shots of full faces, but doesn't work with partially hidden surveillance images, faces concealed by balaclavas, damaged and injured faces, etc. Face Forensics is the only face recognition system to work with part of a face. Let's look at how it works. First of all, we'll capture a partial face. For this demonstration, we're going to use the face of Brent Messenger. We'll crop out the left side of his face as we look at it. If we now go to the identification window in Face Forensics and right-click in the image area, a menu appears from which we can select Partial Mode. A generic facial template is then displayed. We can now paste the face part into the image area. The size of the image is adjusted using the scroll wheel on the mouse, and the part can then be positioned over the template until we get it as close as possible. To help us in this, there's a slider on the right-hand side which displays either the template or the partial so that we can make sure that one is truly fitted over the other. If necessary, we can move the eyes on the partial shot, uh, sorry, on the template in and out to match the actual positioning on the partial shot. Similarly, we can move the nose up and down until we've got the whole image as realistic as possible. At this point, we can set the eye centers manually, once again with the mouse. Click the Recognize button, and Brent Messenger comes up numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, interestingly, um, we can look at the original enrollment record for Brent Messenger. And if we do that, we'll see that there are actually five images of him, and that uh, Face Forensics has picked every one out of its database of 6,000 images. If we wish to examine and compare facial features in detail, we can right-click on any of the matches. Let's take this one and select Compare with Probe Image. In this case, both the probe and the matching image, the selected image, are displayed side by side. If we want to investigate a particular feature, let's say an eye, we can position the partial in a similar position to the matching image. Right-click on Sync, and then we can magnify that feature on both images together, keeping them both on the screen. Let's take another example, where only the eyes are visible. If we go back to our image of uh, Messenger and cut out a letterbox view of his face, then once again we can paste that into the onto the template, map it onto the uh, face, select the uh, eye centers, and click recognition. And in this case, uh, once again, it's found all five images out of the 6,000. It's perhaps worth emphasizing at this point that results generally may not be quite as good as this. Um, but nonetheless, what will happen is that you will get the face, or you should get the face, appearing in the, uh, in the top images, so the top matches that are, are displayed. Now, what we can also do here is we can compare a particular feature on the face between the uh, the probe and the matching image in a slightly different way. Let's take this image here and we'll say compare with probe. <coughs> now in this case we can select a particular feature. Let's say it's the um, it's the left eye once again as we or the right eye as we look at it. We can simply go set manually. Oops. And then Face Forensics will keep that feature in the center of the uh, 
of the image area so that you can zoom in and out uh, by keeping both images on the screen. It's worth emphasizing that the purpose of all one-to-many face recognition systems is to narrow down the list of possible matches from something that's unmanageably large to a number that an officer can comfortably deal with. Partial face recognition is no exception. Because there's less information to work with, the confidence in the match is likely to be less and the investigating officer may have to look further down the list of possible matches. Nonetheless, the system will substantially reduce this list to a manageable number. Partial face recognition means that face recognition can now be used with partially hidden surveillance images, partially concealed faces, injured faces, faces covered by balaclavas, etc. Face Forensics, with its unique partial face recognition capability, is the next generation of face recognition technology.